Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're gonna to talk about foreign transaction fees on ATMs and on credit cards. Um, there's banks out there that charge like a percentage and some of flat, flat rate fees. There are banks out there that don't charge these and some of the credit cards don't also. So when you guys go to your bank, you wanna ask, ask them if they charge you outside the country, like any um, foreign transaction fees, if you go to take out money or you go to use your card as like a credit card or whatever in a store or what have you, you also want to call your, your credit cards to check on this too, because there's a lot of credit cards out there that don't have these fees and it will save you a tremendous amount of money for you guys that are going to be expats living over here, over here to use your credit card over here, just pay it at the end of the month. So you don't have all these fee fees, these um, exchange fees and everything. My credit card, I, I, use, I use Metropolitan Credit Union or Metro Credit Union in um, Massachusetts, okay? And they reimburse all my ATM fees and there's no other fees on there, okay? They, they just reimburse me everything, which is really, really good. And I really like that because, it, but Charles Schwab is another one and there's quite a few other banks and credit unions out there too, so just ask around. As far as credit cards, guys, there's a lot of credit cards that also have the same thing, okay? and a little trick guys is I noticed the other day that when I went into SM they asked me do I want to charge in pesos or if I want to charge in dollars now if you charge in dollars on your credit card it there's no transaction fee for that there's no foreign transaction fee because it's already in dollars so they can't charge you a foreign transaction fee okay so at least that's the way I've seen it you know because otherwise they wouldn't be asking you that because there it's almost like the store is trying to save you that transaction fee otherwise they wouldn't be asking you that okay so you you just want to be aware of all this stuff there's so many little tricks out there tricks of the trade and be on top of these there's too many for me to even mention in here really i mean but there's a lot of different um i'm gonna put some some um links in my description okay that will help you guys because i i, I want to help you guys out in this but there's just way too much for me to cover here you know, I could go on and on and it would just get boring. It's more easier for you to just read it because there's a lot of banks on there mentioned. There's a lot of different types of banks that will save you fees. And I want to put those links on there to help you guys. I would rather keep this video short and sweet versus making it long and, and boring talking about, you know, which banks are good, which banks are bad. Um, Charles, Charles Schwab is one of the best banks out there to do this stuff. I also, guys, I want to recommend when you guys want to do foreign exchange exchanges here the best way to do it is go to an atm in the country that you're in like in the philippines here when you withdraw your money it comes out in pesos that is the best way to do a foreign exchange here versus going to like the airport or whatever also back in the united states one of the places you can you can exchange your money for foreign currency is through AAA. Um, i'm not sure if AAA is in other countries i would imagine it, it might be maybe in like the UK or Australia or something like that. But anyway, if they don't have AAA, then they probably have like some um, sort of tra like um, travel club or something like that for, you know, like if your car breaks down or something like that, they, they tow you. Some of those companies, those little clubs there, they have things that if you travel, they'll give you uh, cheap travel rates on tickets. But also when you go to exchange a currency, they will help you with that. Okay, and AAA happens to be one of those places that does that. Now, credit cards. Guys, when you guys look at your credit cards, you really, really need to shop around. And I highly recommend this for you guys that have like a year or two or six months before you come here. Shop around for a decent credit card and get a better credit card that isn't going to charge you all kinds of fees. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to put some links on that, you know, for the best credit cards for travelers. Um, I'm going to put all different types of stuff on there and you guys can figure it out and shop through this stuff because there's so much to cover out there for saving money and some of them have like little perks and stuff like that if you travel like travel insurance and stuff like that and these are things that can help you a lot because when you come to the Philippines if you buy insurance over here sometimes you have to wait a year before your insurance really really kicks in because they're worried about you having um, you know like let's say you're diabetes or something like that or, or a heart condition they want to know they want to find out like if you use it within like a month they're going to know that you have you know pre-existing conditions or whatever so 
some of these companies, they make you wait a year. Some don't. It depends which company you go through, okay? So if you go through um, Pacific Prime, the one of the companies I mentioned, um, most of the, 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 the waiting periods are waived, okay? So in most cases. So you want to ask about that, okay? That's really important. But to get back to credit cards, guys, seriously, really, really look into your credit cards because you guys might want to use your credit card over here in an emergency or something. You don't want any fees or, you know, stuff like that. And I don't recommend people use their credit cards by no means. Okay, but sometimes you have to for a big purchase or something like that. And then you just pay it off at the end of the month when you get your check or what have you. And that's just, it's easier to do it. But you can also use your debit card too and buy large purchases over here, you know. And make sure that your ATM fees get refunded back to you guys. Most, most of these, most banks nowadays, a lot of them, not most, a lot of them will reimburse you at the end of the month for your ATM fees. That saves you a lot of money because over here, you tend to use your ATM card just a lot more. I mean, when I go to the store or something, I usually pull out 20, 30 bucks. Sometimes I pull out 200 or whatever, you know, whatever I, I need. But every time there's, there's a fee, but I get reimbursed at the end of the month for that. And it's the greatest way to exchange your money too, they say. So just, just keep that in mind, guys. You know, I really just don't want to see a lot of people coming over here and spending all kinds of money in ATM fees and foreign exchange fees. And the other thing is with Western Union guys, on their app, they have a thing and it's, it's basically like no charge to transfer money from your bank in the United States to a bank in the Philippines, okay? And it goes direct to that account, okay? And you, you can, this, it, that one there, what they do is they get you on the foreign exchange rate. That's how they make their money. Sometimes, and you should do the math on this when you're doing that, it's better off to pay the, the debit card fee or whatever other fees they have and see which one is the cheapest. And that'll save you more. Because a lot of guys, they'll go to the Western Union place and just do it and it's expensive. And if you use the Western Union app, it's, it's much, much, much cheaper. And it'll just save you a few bucks and and that's kind of like a foreign exchange thing too because but when you're transferring like to a bdo bank and you're transferring dollars to a peso account you want to make sure that you have a dollar account at bdo there's dollar accounts and there's and there's, there's also uh, peso accounts will they will they change it over yes they will i'm not sure about fees on that guys you want to check on stuff like that because sometimes there's fees there's in between fees where they, somebody in between charges. Or, but if Western Union tells you that they charge a rate, usually it's it's that rate. But if you go to a bank sometimes, and I've had this happen in the United States where I transferred money from one account to another account in the Philippines, and the bank told me it was like such and such a rate. And then she says, but add like $5 to it. And what, because sometimes there's an intermediary that takes money out because it passes through several banks. so. There's all these little fees and they all add up guys. And I just want you to be aware of this when you're doing foreign transactions because they, they I mean, some people don't care about them because they're some, you know, I think of them as minimal and just the cost of doing business. Okay. But it can add up for a while when you start, when you're doing small transactions. So you're better off if you're sending money, send larger transactions, do larger transactions or wait till you can do a larger transaction and then save yourself some money. It's just the way to do things. And you know, and, and guys, when you guys mail ATM cards or mail credit cards, keep in mind when, like if you have somebody back home that's mailing you your credit card or mailing you your ATM card, most of the apps online that, that for credit cards and for eight, for your bank, which, which you have your ATM card attached to, you can go online on the app and shut off your credit card till you receive your credit card, okay? So you can mail it through the mail. And hey, it's not really gonna matter if it gets stolen or ripped off with the exception that you're gonna have to ask for another one. You know, and then then just, you know, do the same thing with that one and, and then, you know, shut it off. And then when you receive it, you turn it back on. And I do that with my credit cards, guys. It's just the best way to do it, okay? Because that way there, nobody can use your credit card. Nobody can use your ATM card because you have that little switch on your app. And it's just, it's just something, it's a little secret out there that a lot of people don't know. But anyway, guys, I just want to help you guys with that a little bit. I hope that helps. God bless, guys. Take, take care and be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Thank you, guys.